what do you handle the, it seems like very high expectations uh, fans and probably media placed upon you? Uh, I enjoy the high expectations placed on me. I have very high expectations for myself and uh, you know I haven't taken a snap yet so I'm just trying to get out on the field first of all and earn a spot and uh, just do what I can most to help our offense. What are your expectations for this season for yourself? Um, I don't really like to set anything like that. I just like to take it day by day and uh, when opportunities come up, I'll try my best to take them and uh, just help this team first and foremost. Did you expect to, to play last year had you not suffered what you suffered three times? <laughs> I. Uh, going into it, especially near the end of camp, I saw myself in some third down packages and a lot of opportunities like that. So I'm like, this is great. I'll be able to get in on special teams and get some experience now on the field. And it didn't work out, like you said. But now I feel like I'm uh, much more relaxed and I've learned so much more and I feel much more prepared to take the role on. How would you stay positive and take advantage of that year? Um, it's hard to stay positive whenever things like that kept getting thrown at you. But uh, I have a great family and a great support system, and the coaches, of course, were awesome with me. And just keep myself motivated and working through everything. So, like, I'm looking around, and guys I came in with that were maybe at the same weight, same skill level as me, and now they're much higher than I am. And I'm like, well, I had to go through some setbacks too. So I just I keep an open mind and just keep working. And the after from Charlie Kohler. Charlie's a great player, and we're excited to have him around. He has a lot of similarities to me, actually. He's a very smart guy, 35 ACT, and uh, he's an engineer as well, so we joke around, but we're very uncommon, and he had a great first few days, and we're excited to see what else comes out of him looking forward. Who has always mentioned you guys have four engineers in that room. What is that room like with all the engineers? Very methodical, and it is a very good thing to have because we can go through the script at the next day and kind of go through the plays and work through everything. So that's kind of something that engineers do. We like to solve problems in a certain way. So it's great to have other guys like this in our room and that have our backs on the sidelines as well. Where did that come from? Terry? Lynn? Who, who did it come from? <laughs> it didn't come from Terry. Oh, no, it definitely didn't come from my dad. And he's going to be mad that I said that. But uh, I'm not sure. He's really. not paying tuition. <laughs> he's not paying tuition. Uh, they are always very supportive of me, and I used to take apart things at the house, and they'd be like, you know, you probably shouldn't take that apart. I'm like, well, you know, I like taking things apart. They're like, okay. But they definitely were ones that pushed me to uh, keep my grades up and be able to get into a good engineering program like this. Sam said it's good to have maybe engineers in that position because you have to know the whole offense. You and the quarterbacks are the two. Is, it, is that helpful that you guys know all the what all the lines and what the receivers do? Stuff. Absolutely, yeah. It's us and the quarterbacks that have to know everything about every play. So having some very cerebral guys out there will make it a lot easier for them. So that way, once they line up and they're ready to go, they'll be able to execute it instead of having to think about what they're about to execute. What's an example of something you took apart and put back together again as a kid? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, so straight out of I don't know about that. We, uh... Um, we used to have uh, remote control car battles. Mm. So my brother and I would take apart several remote control cars to make the deadliest remote control car. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was a lot of fun. You flip burgers at the restaurant? At the restaurant, no. My sister you did. Can do, you can, so you can take everything apart, but you can't flip a burger? Not at a restaurant. I'll do it on the grill at home, though. Not at the restaurant. <laughs> What's, uh, what's the competition like in that room? Because I'd imagine you can collaborate very well by breaking things down and problem solving, but then at the same time, you're all trying to maximize your time on the field come opening week. Uh, the thing about this year, we've got some amazing guys in our tight end room and the guys with a lot of experience and the guys who have gotten, a, gotten themselves a lot better from this past summer. So it's really exciting for us as a tight end position because uh, I would say they've, uh, when they were at Toledo, they had different packages where there are four tight ends in the game at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you got, you got guys like Dylan Sainer, who is very large and has gotten <laughs> so much better this past summer and this past spring. And then Sam Seenbuckner, who comes back and had an awesome end of the year last year. And Sam Harms, who put about 15 pounds on this past summer. And he's been great. We're very close. And he's kind of taken me under his wing, been a mentor. He's an engineer as well. So it's just exciting. And we all look around and we hold our heads up and we're like, yeah, let's, let's make some differences here.